Hello, welcome back to Brandon Sushi Recording. In this episode, I'll be sharing with you these two different node tree to create uh, these two stacks. It's two stacks of boxes. The first one is more like box, the other one is like a cylinder or coins or whatever. So this is actually quite simple, but you can kind of build on top of it and making it more and more complex. So let me um, simplify this a little bit. And if I actually get rid of the randomizations, we have just a kind of like a simple box that's been stacked. So we have box and we have cylinder. So let's take a look at the box. How did I make this kind of stack? This is actually um, pretty simple once you understand it. I'm taking a, taking advantage of line node to simply stack create this stack of boxes because line node have something called step and this step uh, you can just pass it like random value you can make it like 5 or 20 and doesn't matter what number a uh, random number this line will kind of grow and stack it's it's like um, accumulative numbers so that's the first thing so I can give it any kind of value and whatever number that it generates here will be used to create line we can have preview of the line like this so this is the line and we for every line we're gonna create boxes with the height of the line itself so that's what I use and but we need to divide it by half so this is exactly what's going on with the scaling of the box um, maybe that's because I use size of two otherwise I don't need to multiply it by half but anyway, so that's the box and I bevel the box one time, I can bevel it twice. And I'm using the origin of the line actually, the center origin of the line. And I randomize it slightly so the stack can be a little bit more interesting. Maybe not too much, otherwise it's gonna fall. So I'm, I'm randomizing in x and y axis and I could al also rotate it like that so we have 20 boxes I believe 20 boxes and I can randomize with a value so that's the first this random stack is a classic example of the use of nodes to generate stack the other one is a cylinder but it's like a coins however this one is taking advantage of spectral duplicate objects along edge so this is interesting because instead of a single single cylinder for each one of them we can have multiple so let's say I have five for each line gap, I can have five. I can actually have padding as well. So the padding will scale this guy a little bit. Maybe for that, for this, we don't need padding. But you can randomize the count and you have this stack. So stack of coins of different value, for example. And you can randomize the position. And yeah, that's pretty much it actually this is a cylinder it's getting a random radius so the red, there's a random radius here or you can have it just the same radius but different different height different thickness so it's totally up to you it plug into the cylinder the height of the cylinder doesn't matter anymore because this node will scale the cylinder to fit 
to fit the line here I have this orientations um, change for the cylinder I can I can change the cylinder to whatever orientations if I like but yeah this seems to be right Z to X uh, so cylinder so we have line line simply coming coming in into this nodes and then cylinders and we get suddenly we have this stack of objects pretty cool right so anytime if you want to have whoops okay I have something that's incorrect okay then the number here 20 so we have number that we can change we need to connect everything together so we can randomize the seed randomize the stack make 100 boxes if you want so this become pretty easy it's almost like array but instead of the same array objects we can have random array and this could be something that you can use to to stack a, a burger for example a burger usually have a top and bottom so it's slightly more complex and the middle part can be different objects this is uh, just an idea so it's and it's all dependent dependent on this line objects well here yeah, you can make modifications to the line it's gonna change and the box okay let's randomize the box size as well it should in general make a correct result so lots of dependency on this particular number but there we go it's a random box maybe it could be like a for you know like a 3d Christmas gift you want to stack some objects and you want to have lots of objects you can turn this into some kind of monad and from that simple monad you can have stack of multiple objects like this each one of them is slightly different you can actually give it a different color as well so I think yeah it's basics but you can once you understand the basic you can keep adding things until it gets a little bit more complex just layering stuff together all right so there you go hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye